Start at 530 with our top talker. You may remember just this week we told you about Cleveland Clinic starting a clinical trial testing psilocybin for depression. Now the results from an LSD study that were part of that trial have come out. Yeah, the Cleveland work, uh, the clinic rather, worked with biotech company MindMet, who today say they just received breakthrough therapy status from the FDA. So they found a single dose of LSD helped people dealing with generalized anxiety disorder. The status means the drug showed efficacy in an unmet need. However, it does still need further testing, they say. Three quarters of patients uh, who were treated with a single dose of LSD had a response uh, with their generalized anxiety disorder, and, and about half of them uh, actually had, had remission. And so that was for the 100 microgram dose. So the study was looking at different doses of, of LSD uh, to potentially find the, uh, the, the one that might maximize efficacy uh, and, and minimize uh, side effects. Now, the LSD therapy from MindMed is called MM120. It will still need more clinical trials. It will go through the standard FDA approval process. But it's now the third promising psychedelic involved in mental health. It's so interesting that they branched off and looked at that in a different light. Yeah, it's actually fascinating because for many in our age group, yeah. when we hear that, we immediately flash back to, well, I'm not sure that 60s? that would, yeah, that, I don't know that that was therapeutic <laughs> exactly the way they're talking about it now, but I think the key to this study, and we'll find out through more trials, is how much of the drug is yeah. administered. And you heard in the soundbite there that about half of the participants showed some improvement. I don't know that that's enough to get it past the FDA clearance hurdle. We'll see, but um, we'll certainly keep an eye on these future clinical trials and see how this shakes out. Who knows? It could be an entirely new frontier on uh, the medical treatment of anxiety and the sort of ailments that previously we don't have that magic pill for. Well, and, and mental illness, how it's skyrocketing right now after the pandemic still. So Absolutely.